This video is tricks and tips for cleaning and maintaining Mitsubishi's LN Hero model. Next time I'm going to take this apart and we can see inside what's in there. Okay, let's take this front cover off. Lift it up and take this clip out. And I'm using a small screwdriver to push the hinge Oh, there is a locking mecha there is a locking mechanism inside there and you need to lift it up a little bit okay and take it out these flaps are fairly simple just this same small screwdriver and on the middle of it there's a hinge open it and slide it out like that and then the left side same thing open the clip and slide the. then on the left and the right side there's these plastic covers take them off one and two screwdriver and there are one two three four five and six screws to take out actually you can you can start from the middle take this plastic cover off and then continue here this is the electrical connection box take this right cover off you need to pull it out so you just lift it a little bit and take it towards you and it will come off next take this wi-fi controller off from the pocket you can leave it hang it hanging like that so this plastic will come off just lift it up a little bit like that and then if you don't have enough room then you have to put your hand over there and push it quite hardly from up to down it will come off but what I'm doing now I'm just lifting it like this and it will come off so all these small wires they are going to the circuit board so i need to open the circuit circuit board cover it's this one screw that's off so to take this sensor package off you need to manipulate it a little bit and lift it like that and then pull out Take the wires, there are two of them, off from the circuit board without damaging the circuit board. Water tray, it's this whole section in here and it has also wires, quite a lot of them. Remove it from the circuit board and now it's loose. Open the screws which hold the coil on. There are two, two screws. The tray will come off, starting from the left. Pull it, and there's one on the left, one on the middle, and one on the right side. And then you can take it out. When you are taking this tray out, you will have a connection through your wall from the right, from the right on, the, on the left side. So you have to un unhook that also. It's just pressing the, pressing the clip and pulling out, outwards. It will. Now I can lift the, the coil up a little bit because I need to take the, the fan motor blade out. To take the blade motor off, you need to unscrew this one small Phillips end screw on the right side. Don't take it whole off, just open it so much that this blade will slide left to right. That's enough then. Then just lift this coil a little bit, not too much, and then take this 
this uh, bearing off, lift it so that you can slide the whole tube out. Sometimes you need to service the, the fan motor itself, then you have to take the, also the circuit board off. Take that off, it's quite simple. Open this couple of screws. Mm. Then also take the wires off from the circuit board. And the fan motor two sets of wires which you need to unhook first. These two and then you can have this plastic cover off. <coughs> There's a small small clip on upper end of this this white plastic, you need to take your finger here and pull it to right and then it will come off like that. And after that just lift it from the bottom and here's the circuit board. It's the fan, fan motor assembly, so three screws one, two, and three. This whole casing comes off. Lift it a little bit. And here is the fan motor assembly. And there is two clips which you need to unhook on each side and here is the fan motor. And then actually there is this this uh, oscillator also it comes off just by lifting. There is one screw. But I just lost it someplace. <laughs> I have to find another one. So now it's very dirty but we are going to clean it with steam cleaner and some foams and then we are going to show you how it's how you can put it back together. So now, as you can see, it's very clean, but it's because we use steam and chemicals. So this is how it's supposed to be after professional has cleaned it. And we have to take every part off and clean them, clean them by hand and with steam and chemicals to make them clean. Because otherwise, if they are attached to the machine, you won't get it, you won't get it so good. So and the fan motor goes in. Next the plasma filter. So next the plastic cover, there is one groove on the bottom of it. Put that first and then there's one hook up here. Just press it and it will stay on. And the bearing. Just center it, feel it when it when it touch, touches on the left end and on the right end on the, on the middle. It's perfect. So it doesn't touch anywhere. And you can spin it like this. So start clipping it from the right end and then 
move towards the left end. Like that. It will click on. First and good thing about these wires is that you cannot put them anywhere else than where they should go. When you put the cover on, the important thing is that there is no wires between the cover and the hard place. You can put this Wi-Fi router back on, starting from the circuit point, then I put this sensor package on. To put the sensor package on, first hook the up end, there are claws on the up end, you can see them, they are in here and in here, just put them like this, and it will hook on the top end, and then the bottom end will clip when you just press it on. Next we can put this cover on. And next thing to do is put this plastic, the, the uh, front cover on. So behind here there are the spots where it need to go and when it's on the right, right spot and you press it from here it will click on. And then this front end you have to lift it a little bit and slide it on the right sides, on the right spots. Okay, now it's on. Wi-Fi router back on. The mouse, no, it will go like that. Should go quite easily. There are three screws on the right cover, on the right side of this. Next is the electrical connection box. Right. All these parts should go back in place quite easily, so if you're having a rough time, then check again. Maybe there's some wire or something between, but they should go quite easily. And on the left end there's only one screw. And then what's left is this long, long plastic cover that goes on the top of that. And then left is two screws. And the small plastic caps on the top of these screws. Take this flap, there's a marking right side, so it goes on the right side. Slide it first, first the right end, first the left side of it. Slide it on and clip it on. Ozonator filter, main filters. And what's left is the front plate. This is, this is not so simple to put back on. First, put it almost at its base, it goes like that, and then you have to press it with a tool, but I used a 
finger and press it with your finger so you can hear the loud clip. Now it's on. And then the hook, don't forget it. Well, what did I miss? Oh yeah, yeah, subscribe. Remember to subscribe. It's so important. I don't know why, but they say that it's very important. So press the subscribe and maybe you help us to do our job better.